President Mohamed Buhari is requesting an additional provision of 2.5 trillion naira for petrol subsidy payments in 2022. Well, the president made this request in a letter to the National Assembly where he proposed an amendment of the 2022 budget. The letter read by the Senate President Ahmad Lawan contains the request for consideration and approval to accommodate the additional fuel subsidy funding. Following the suspension of PMS subsidy removal, the 2022 budget framework has been revised to fully provide for PMS subsidy an additional provision of 2.557 trillion naira will be required to fund the petroleum subsidy in 2022. Consequently, the Federation account main pool revenue for the three types of government is projected to decline by 2 trillion naira, while federal government's share from the account is projected to reduce by 1.05 trillion naira. Therefore, the amount Available to fund the federal government budget is projected to decline by 969.09 billion naira. Aggregate expenditure is projected to increase by 45.85 billion naira due to additional domestic debt service provision of 102.5 billion naira net of the deductions or reductions in statutory transfers by 56.67 billion naira as follows. Ahmed Lawan, uh, President of the Senate there. Well, for more on these developments, we're joined by Akubu uh, Suleiman, National PRO, Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Thanks for joining us on Newsnight. Thank well, you. Uh, based on that report, the question that readily comes to mind is, how come filling stations don't have fuel, but you have, you know, black marketers uh, having a field day selling in jerry cans? But how would you react to the NNPC saying that this uh, situation will be over soon. How soon should we expect Very this? soon. I want to assure you, NFPC has uh, made a very good, you know, uh, arrangement, an adequate arrangement that can accommodate all Nigerians, the mm -hmm. supply of petroleum product to all Nigerians. And uh, uh, I believe very soon, hopefully before the week runs, uh, Nigerians will see the next development that can arise and uh, the queues will reduce. But you were talking uh, about Ipman challenges before we came on air. What exactly are those? Yeah. Very quickly. Yeah. You know, um, what we are calling on the NNPC and most importantly the depots that let them be considerate in selling the product at a normal price, that uh, official price, that our members will be able to assess it to their filling station. Instead of the present uh, price rate that they're buying, 162, 162 or 165 naira per liter. So by, by doing so, you know, uh, when you buy that product at 162 or 165, how much will you sell at your filling station? So that was that some, some of our members, uh, you know, have gone back. To you know, to to to, see, to read the situation, what will happen? It's not that they don't have the intention of bringing the fuel to the station, but the problem, the issue is the pricing. So we need the the depots owners, uh, that's the Dapman to and uh, the government. Let us have synergy, where we will be able to service Nigerians. Okay, so Nigerians, that's the question. I mean. Yeah. You had uh, a respondent there saying that I have never seen this kind of traffic jam in all my life. How do we get this hurry? And of course, you saw a report that they are trying to yeah, fiddle yeah. with our phone on boat. Boat services is hard to get. It's expensive yeah. to get now. So how do we immediately, you know, get them off this harrowing experience? I mean, they're... Yeah. It's, it's not easy. I, I'm sure you know it's like not. And then, like, who, so who is responsible for the price that, that makes you not to Like I have told you, NLPC, Ipman, Dapman in this situation, are trying their best to see that the situation improved. Is this mostly is the panic and what happens last week that caused all this things. Nigerian success mission. NLPC, Moman, Dapman, Ibman, I try their best to see that, yes, the product is available. And I want to assure them, this queue, like uh, the, my ED have stated, the ED downstream, yes, 
before the end uh, before the end of this week weekends i believe that was the, what they said last yeah. week when they said before wednesday that yeah. was mm -hmm. wednesday no, till be this off. time around they haven't come out like this to announce to the world that's to assure to the world yes of course with very soon the queues will be reduced okay we hope well, so. well, all right thank you so much uh, uh, Yakubu Suleiman, National PRO Independent Petrillo Marketers Association of Nigeria for being with us in the studio.